Chris Lovingood here in the WREL Live Center with a breaking update. We, within the past 10 minutes, received a video into the WREL newsroom of Ramon Alston, the convicted escaped murderer who was just caught this morning in Kannapolis. Let me go ahead and press play. There are three clips that I put together as one. You see these law enforcement folks walking by there. One of them has appeared to be a riot shield there. And then you see right here clearly that appears to be him right there, Ramon Alston, who walks by. And then on this third clip, they're outside and you'll see him walk into frame here in just a moment uh, out of there near those vehicles. But that's when you see him walking by. And investigators have told us there are three different photos, ones that he didn't have dreadlocks, some he didn't dreadlocks right here in this image as you're seeing them walk there his hands behind cuffs behind his hands uh, his back right there so we're still trying to get more information from this again a witness at the microtel inn in Kannapolis provided this video with us uh, this is someone who works at the hotel giving us this information today we're still trying to get more specifics with it because i also spoke with a hotel employee who works nearby in a different hotel so and he she says that she also saw ramon alston there as well stay with wr news. We are trying to get more breaking updates on this story, but this is the first image that we're seeing of Ramon Austin being arrested this morning. Mm -hmm. Cleared out. Mm -hmm. got everything cleared out, okay? So, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm just going to wait. Okay. Just wait. Maybe I have to get a, a, another card or something like that. Everything all done, seven days. Again, thank you. Breaking news we're following this morning. The search for convicted murderer Ramon Alston, it is over. At about 2 o'clock this morning, authorities captured him at a hotel in Kannapolis just outside Charlotte. WRL's Monica Casey is live this morning at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Monica, this brings this 72-hour manhunt to a close. <laughs> Yeah, more than 300 investigators from 19 law enforcement agencies were involved in this manhunt. FBI's Charlotte SWAT team, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police, and Kannapolis Police made this arrest about two hours away from Hillsboro. This is where Alston escaped. If you take a look at your screen, you can see that is the hotel where he was arrested. We have dug into the timeline of his escape, but now we're learning more about where he was during those days on the run. We spoke with an employee at the hotel where Alston stayed Wednesday night into Thursday. She tells WRL's Chris Lovingood, Alston seemed like a typical guest with normal behavior, not at all agitated. She described the moment police arrived. Police had found out that he had been here and it had been checked in under a female's name. And um, yeah, and it was quite crazy when they had gotten here and then yeah I was told and then she showed me who he was and I was like I actually talked to him. Officials say Olsen is now being taken to a high security unit in the state prison system where he'll resume his life sentence and face new charges for this escape. Now, we've heard law enforcement say repeatedly over the course of this investigation, if you help Olsen in any way, you will face charges. And now someone does. A woman named Jaconia Crisp was arrested in Alamance County. She's charged with felony assisting and abetting a fugitive. Live in Hillsboro, Monica Casey, WRL News. New today, the reward for information leading to the capture of an escaped murderer is up to $50,000. Today, we also learned the officers involved in the case are still working. And for the first time, we're hearing the frantic moments after the convicted murderer escaped from law enforcement at an Orange County hospital. You just out of car, man. Now, that wasn't the complete communication. We'll try and get that to you. But this is the first communication we're hearing in the moments after Ramon Alston ran from officers. And it's the last time he was seen nearly two and a half days ago. WRL Sean Gallagher joins us live from UNC Hospital in Hillsborough. And Sean, this all happened so quickly. Yeah, Gerald, when we got the timeline from the sheriff here in Orange County, he explained how fast everything unfolded, that Ramon Alston ran from the uh, hospital over here. And in the voices you're about to hear in these 911 calls, you'll hear just how concerned they were that Alston was on the loose. UNC's Hillsborough Hospital is in a relatively remote location. There's one road in and one road out, Waterstone Drive. 
This is the last place officers saw Ramon Alston. In 911 calls released today, we're hearing from those on scene for the first time. Their voices have been distorted to protect their identities. He just ran. Where did he run from? To the Hillsborough Hospital. The Hillsborough Hospital. He just jumped out of the car and ran. All right, um, we are notifying our units. According to law enforcement, Alston had shackles on, but was able to run away from the officers who transported him here. Uh -huh. and, and he's got on the whole leg restraint and handcuffs. He got his cuff on. He can't go that far. Despite those shackles, Alston escaped and hasn't been seen for over two days. So there's not, again, and I, I don't want to get into the logistics of how folks escape. But I will tell you that folks who've been incarcerated and are used to wearing these things know tricks that they can do to make them work for them. And we probably think that's what occurred here. Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood believes this escape was planned, but says the officers were absolutely not involved in his escape. And to condemn those folks for what they've been doing and what they were doing is just wrong. Now, these officers are still working at this time. The Department of Corrections telling me that they have no indication that they did anything improper. Sean Gallagher, WRAL News, Hillsborough.